All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Mind Escape. This is part number two of the mod, uh, following on from part one, which released yesterday. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I had a bit of mixed reactions and uh, mixed feelings about the mod, but we'll probably jump into that a bit more um, on the end of this. Let's hope that our autosave is, um, has, has kept us in the right place. I might have to use the quick save if not. But we was just grabbed the core and we was on our way out somewhere, I think. Is this the bit we got to? Yeah, we did this bit, didn't we? What if I load my quick save? Does that take me anywhere different? Yes, so this is where we got up to. We've just been on a train ride. We've got this core here. Obviously, we can't use any puzzles. Uh, any puzzles. We can't use any portals because we are holding the core. I think it's... Was his name Felix? Maybe. It looks like we're... Oh. Now I'm torn. Do we do we go to the emergency shutdown? Or do we go, to the, do, do we go for some cake? I think we go for cake. Yeah, I would agree, Mika. All of the above are um, all very good map makers, and um, they have very good. Um, it's the only non-preserved exit. I'm not sure what that's meant to relate to. Somebody's popping pills and stuff. The companion cube. Oh, there's a key there. One five thirty-three forty-one question mark. That might be important. Somebody type that in chat, so we've got a record of that for later. Because <laughs> my short-term memory is terrible. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to reload the save, because I want to go and check out the um, the other option first. I want to see what's in the other way, because clearly there's no going back after that point. Um, so let's go up here. Oh, well. Looks like we can't go through the door. Alright, cake it is then. So this is... I suppose this is Gladys' chamber, right? From... Yeah, this is like a really ruined version of GLaDOS's chamber. Everything's kind of fallen apart. Not quite sure what's going on where at the moment. Not quite sure why these are so bouncy and have so much momentum. So this is this is meant to be destroyed, Glados, I guess. Well, now I know that the uh, the big blue sparky thing is death. We know that much, at least. But I, I don't know what this is. I guess that's just something that's fallen from the ceiling, maybe. Quite possibly. You don't jump when you. I'm not sure I like the looks of that turret thing over there. Okay, something, something's happened here. Let's go in the back up here. The flying turret? No, don't you start, Mika. No. Press button for access evacuation elevator. Yeah, that, that's... that's. I'm not sure I want to press that button. Got some hoopies. 
I mean... Hmm. Can I... I guess I can't do anything else, right? Alright, well. Pressing the button it is. Is this where we find out in an evil plot twist the core is actually evil? Oh dear god. What was we saying? I kind of see what I need to do. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what is this? Why is this? Come on. What's the worst that can happen, right? God, what? Right, so where else am I meant to do? I'm meant to hit this thing over here, maybe? I don't quite understand. This noise is quite annoying as well. I guess I meant to just keep hitting the sides until everything falls off. Yeah, okay, that kind of looks like it's working. Why, why does it turn me around when it gets hit? I don't... I don't get the need for that. Emergency mode is activated. Leave me! Go to the elevator! Okay. So there was four nuclear symbols and we just literally had to hit each each of those, I guess. Was I this close to finishing last night? That kind of blows. Uh, okay, I just randomly appear here. Uh, Sonny, you, you uh, translate any of this for us? a little bit floaty in here. Feels a bit anti-grav. Okay, we got the boarding. Where are we boarding to? Where should we go? I think let's go to Heathrow. I'm going to Heathrow. We'll do. What? Was I dreaming? Was it all a dream? 
Um. Okay. Yeah, the, the actual jump height didn't change. Um. Oh, I have to go this way. Sure, I would love to do that. Do I have to pick up somebody's hand somewhere? Some like recording studio or something? Is that where we are now? What? What? Um. So you're saying I am a robot. Well, it's all well and good, but I still can't get through here. Maybe I'll go through the other one. <laughs> now, I don't know if I'm meant to get through here or not at the minute, because... There was something earlier on which said, like the, the old the computer screens quite early on in the mod said press E to like press use key to use, obviously press use. Um, but I mean. If we can't find anything else to do, though. Maybe. Did the PC disappear? I don't know. That bin's uh, getting a little bit smoky, that's for sure. Well, that's why I said earlier, uh, that's why I said, Sonny, did I need to, like, find somebody's hand? So isn't this the Portal Stories Mel Elevator? What does the button do? Can I take this over here? Hmm. Let me fire you. Do I just have to jump over this, maybe? 
Is it even possible to jump over this? Sonny thinks so. I think that one's fixed in place, though. I don't think I can move that one. some weird things going on with like the physics here. You're already confused. Can I like, tilt these bins up like can cubes? Yes, I can. got a thunderstorm. Okay, that's uh, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. That's a problem. Oh boy. Trapped in the cubicle forever. Aha! I managed to escape. I escaped! The cubicle's got nothing on me. Tilt these bins up. Can we stack them? Oh. Like a bin over troubled water. Throwing it like that. What's in the box on the wall? Uh, nothing as far as I can tell, Mika. I mean, maybe if I hadn't of trapped this. I just generally don't see... Granted, they're experiencing technical difficulties, but... I, I think we're, we're gradually breaking more and more things in here. <laughs> Jeez. But if I'm not supposed to go there, where am I supposed to go? Throw a chair into the window. I 
have well and truly broke this cord this cupboard, that's for sure. Uh, my portal gun just vanished. Thought maybe after the revelation that we've got a core on our head, something might have changed, but I guess not. Quite frustrating that I like knocked this over to here because I could have probably used that to stand on. My stacking skills are terrible. I just hate like trying to do stuff with physics objects like chairs and that because if you get them orientated wrong it's really hard to get them back unless Team Spend knows of any easier ways being the master of portal that he is. Alright, well that kind of did something. The only thing I can think though is that then the use key is broken on them panels because like I said earlier on there's um, there was something earlier on where it said to press E to view the, the computer screen and I was pressing E and nothing different was happening I just don't know if I, I just don't know go one higher then we might be able to get it yeah that's what I was worried about Hey, we made it across. <laughs> we made it across. Only to be greeted with error. And now we've really broken stuff again. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're not meant to go that way then. I can only assume we're meant to go this way. I 
Hey, Kong Clan. Hold on. The real question is... Does the button do something different? I mean, on a plus side, one of the things sort themselves out. But by things I mean boxes. I can only assume we're meant to get in here. But... Hold on. Is there a way to turn some music on or something to blow out the bring the radio yes team spend It was a combination. It was a combination of good work. <sighs> See, look, I saw the microphone, but team's been put together about using the radio. Thanks, buddy. <sighs> All right. Now we get to twiddle our thumbs for another little bit. I wonder what exactly we're meant to be doing for the next bit. So we've got to get up there. I mean... That is the only way we can go, right? So, all right. So I wonder if then, if that button, surely that button does something in the toilets here, right? Oh, but the button's already turned on there. That's the thing. Sonny's betting on the bins again. Sonny likes betting on the bins. Well, that did squat, so... Maybe it is the bins. Should we go for bin bin route? Maybe we can go for the chair. get on there. So because of some weird clips that are on this this thing here. Um also I'm getting royally annoyed with this radio. <laughs> Will you please shut your damn cake hole? <laughs> it's not working because it's not a bin. Ah, there we go. 
Okay. So I was to drop down here. Am I now trapped? Does this magically open up? It magically opens up. As you look at that. Uh, problem with that is though, it doesn't really help me too much, does it? Because uh, I can't actually shift that. Well, we can do that. So seriously, this radio. Shut up. I commented about this though early on in the mod that like some of the surfaces that you walk on really seem like you're walking you're walking on ice in this mod. I don't know what it is. But we're in the vent. Okay. Weird things be happening. How much longer is this mod man like? Seriously. Conserved. Warning, heavy door. Hey, we're out. Man, that's um... That's a scary looking door. I'm like, why is that screen just like weird and keep changing? But then I realize it's actually a hole in the glass. <laughs> we got some soda. And why would you electrify a door? I want to go back, because th there might have been something I missed here. Turns out there was nothing I missed here. Are we finally free? Are we finally free? Gladys? Parts of Gladys, I guess. What's that meant to be? I have no idea. Joe could be lying here somewhere. Yeah, good call. She's right there, look. She is right there. <laughs> Android hell that uh, Gladys was talking about, possibly. Oh, that hasn't got like the big futuristic hood on it. That has though. I love that HUD. I want one of them for my car. Um. Okay. So I was just able to take a machine gun. I'm pressing F6. Oh, 
Why did I just have to... Oh. Oh great, look, you've, uh, excuse me car, you've left the hood behind. Um. What are we going to see when the camera pans down? It's gone out of the smell tree. <laughs> I mean, is there a point to this, or is this literally the end of the mod? <laughs> Oh, more than more than more than likely, I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> you tried to escape, but you won't really. So I think I think there's um. I I I, th I think there's something you can relate to there, Iron Smell Tree. Things only tend to break when you turn up to my stream. Kind of, you know, just just making a point. So we took the gun. We flicked the switch. I mean, can we just run away? I guess not. Because we just keep getting returned back to here. Well... Any command you know team spend that will fix that? Or will it let me at least like see what I'm meant to see at the end? There is no escape. I can't even no clip. Try standing on the other side. I mean, doesn't necessarily look like there is No, I have to use the trigger looks like it's on the driver's side. You got a feeling. I mean, with 
third person work. Jeez, that's 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 something. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense, Sonny. But yeah, I guess we're just gonna take note of poor, confused aperture guy with. He doesn't even have long fall boots. He just has metal spikes sticking out the backs of his kneecaps. And, um, yeah. So, there we go. As we enjoy Mr. Confuse there. That is Mind Escape. Um, the main stuff. That is the, the main stuff. Now, don't be fooled. We're not done. Because there is bonus level with shiny cake. And of course, we got to go and uh, see what the shiny cake is doing. Um, all right. Let's see what cake is doing. I mean, there's this whole sort of, I've been waiting to like get on an aeroplane this whole time and we was never on a, oh my goodness, it's. Um, okay. Mod maker be like, so bonus content, bonus content, bonus content. What can we throw in here? Oh, I know. Let's recreate that turret puzzle in chamber 13 and we'll just put all the turrets in cages so the player can't actually get round them. I'm sure the player will be fine. Build a nice little cube pyramid. Everything will be fine. I'm sure. What's the worst that could happen, right? I don't even know where I'm being shot from. I mean, Yes, this uh, and this was this was my comment on quite a few of the puzzles that they're just sort of variations of the original puzzles, which I kind of I don't know. It, a lot of the puzzles just lack creativity. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm particularly not particularly interested in uh, in doing that one. So yeah, like I said at the top of this, I think a lot of the puzzles just lack creativity. A lot of them have um, been taken or adapted from uh, campaign levels, and, and um, yeah, I don't I don't think there was enough originality on the puzzles. Uh, I could go into a room and I instantly I could recognise bits and pieces. Oh, this is chamber this. This is chamber such and such. This is chamber such and such. Um, so yeah, from the puzzle point of view, I don't think the puzzles were great in this mod. Um, 
I have no idea what the story was. I, like I said, I don't know if that's just because it's not an English mod and there were subtitles, but even with the subtitles, I didn't really get a gist of what was going on. It was just all a bit weird. Was we Were we an AI? Were we not an AI? How Do we really have a core on our head? Are we a core walking around? I mean, the, the core being a robot would kind of fit in with some of the literature that we saw during the mod which was talking about how that they were taking people's minds and make, and putting them in robots, almost like what they did with Carolyn. So, you know, potentially, you know, Sonny's uh, theory there about um, being an AI, or, or was it Megis, sorry, or Sonny, whichever one of you it was, sorry. Um, maybe your theory about the being an AI was actually correct. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is the end of Mind Escape. People on Twitch, we're going to carry on with some extra community chambers as a bonus for you guys. People on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back with some more Portal 2, Portal, sorry, mods real soon. But until then, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.